With this year, we've had over eight inches of rain in the month of May, and that's roughly about the time that the, fleet, that the wheat was coming into the flag leaf stage. We had heavy infestations of septoria and powdery mildew, and basically with diseases in wheat, it starts from the bottom of the canopy and works its way up. So you can either use a fungicide at the herbicide timing to kind of keep that disease lower in the canopy, a fungicide such as headline, or you can come over the top with Karamba at heading, or you can do a sequential application with the two with the two products. But basically, disease starts from the bottom, moves its way up, and most fungicides are preventative. So you do want to get out there and apply it before the disease has infested your crop, because by that time it's too late. Using a product like Karamba at heading, you get both Fusarium head blight control as well as excellent leaf disease control. You can see in these two plots, one is treated, one is not. Uh, there is a lot of Septoria gloom blotch on the head of the untreated plots and the plots that were treated with Karamba are fairly clean. So you do want to protect the head as well as protect the flag leaf because 75% of your yield comes from the flag leaf. And also some of the, the head also has some photosynthetic activity and also helps into the grain fill period. So you do want to protect the top layer of the crop uh, to maximize your yield potential. And also with the uh, improving the straw quality, which a lot of people don't really look at, uh, by using a fungicide, we've had a number of comments from growers that they do get less dust in the straw. So it's healthier for the animals and when they're shaking it up later in the winter. Uh, in their barns, there is less dust associated with wheat that has been sprayed with a fungicide compared to an untreated because something like leaf rust uh, does contribute to a lot of dust in the straw.